in this video, we're going to implement a try, also known as a prefix string python. This data structure is extremely useful for the task in all dictionaries, autocomplete systems, and spell checkers. In this video, we'll explain what a try is and how it is different from the traditional tree and guide you through the implementation step by step. We'll also discuss a complexity analysis and use case for tries. So what is a try? A try or prefix tree is a specialized tree-like data structure designed to efficiently store and retrieve the keys in the data set of strings. Unlike a traditional tree, where each node represents a single value, a try node represents a part of a key, such as a character in a string. So here is how the tries are different from the regular trees. The first is nodes. So in a try, each node stores a part of the key, uh, typically a single character rather than the full key or value. So next is edges. Edges represent the transition from one character to another in their keys. So next is keys and paths. A key in the try is represented with a path from the root to the specific node. So next is efficiency. Tries uh, provide the efficient search times, typically O of M, where M is the length of the key. This makes them ideal for the applications that require fast lookups, insertions, and deletions of strings. Here is the example try representation. Let's consider we inserting the words apple, app, and bat into the try. The try will look like this. So here is the root, and then the word apple is represented by this path a p p l e and uh, we indicate the end of the word by uh, some sort of thing so here we uh, in the rep for representation purpose we just uh, using the node as end of apple here uh, in reality we would we might have some boolean indicating that end of the word is true like that so uh, also here the app is represented with the path here a p p and end of the app so and same here for a bat so this path b a t and end of the bat hope you got idea for a try is let's look into the problem statement so here a try or prefix t is a data structure used to efficiently store and retrieve keys in data set of strings there are various applications of the data structure such as auto complete and spell checker implement the try class so try inserts the try object and void insert string uh, which takes string of uh, uh, word this inserts the uh, uh, string word into the try and this it is boolean uh, search and which takes uh, word as a which is of string type as a parameter and this returns true if the string word is in the try that is uh, it was inserted before and false otherwise so another method which returns a boolean and the name is starts with and it takes the string uh, name prefix so it returns true if there is a previously inserted string word that has a prefix prefix and false otherwise so let's look in the example here. So here the input is this is a set of operations, right? Uh, so here try is like inside the try class, and then uh, we have the methods followed by that. So insert, search, uh, and search, and starts with, and insert and search. This is a set of operations we're going to perform, and they are just the uh, what are the inputs at each operation here. So for try, this is just initialization. So here insert, we're inserting apple, and we are searching apple, and we are searching app here and we are doing starts with for app and we are doing insert for app and we are searching app here. So this is the output at each stage uh, we have. So explanation here is uh, we are inserting the try here using the try is equals to new try and doing the insert here and doing the search here. This would return to because we have apple. We are doing the search for app here. So because the word app is not there, it returns false and then we are doing the starts with app. It returns true because we have the prefix app. Uh, in Apple and then we're doing the insert for app and then we're doing the search for app it will return because we have inserted it here so constraints here word length and prefix length are in the enclosure range of 1 to 2000 and word and prefix consists of only lowercase English letters at most 3 to 10 power 4 calls in total will be made to insert search and starts with so as we see here this is the initial code given so let's look into the solution let's look into the algorithm so first is initialization. Define a try node class to represent each node in the try. So each try node will have additionally to store child nodes and boolean to indicate if it is the end of the word. So next is insert. So start from the root node for each character in the word. Check if it exists as a child node. Uh, if not, create a new try node. Move to the child node and continue until all characters were processed. Next, mock the end of the word with a boolean. Next is search. So we start from the root node and traverse through the try using the characters of the word. If any character is missing, which I have written false, 
and if not we just process all characters and check if the current node is mocked at the end of the word if as we return true next is start with so this is similar to search operation but only checks if the prefix exists without need to be marked as end of the word so let's look into the flowchart so this is the flowchart for the in search operation and uh, so we just start with from the root and for each chapter in the word uh, we check if it exists in the try if not exists we create a new try node if it exists we move to the next character and then uh, post that we move to the new try node and mock end of the word because this is the end of the word right this, all the uh, characters in the word are processed and the next is the search operation so this is the uh, flow for the search operation so we just start from the root and then for each character in the word we check if it exists if it does not exist, we return false. If it exists, we move to the next character. And after all the characters are processed, we check if it is end of the word. Okay. If no, we return false. If yes, we return true. So this is the uh, flow for the start with operation. So we start from the root. So for each character in the prefix, we check if it is exists. If yes, we move to the next character. If it does not exist, we return false right away. And then after checking all characters, we return true. So let's look into the dry run for the given examples Apple and app. So first we start with creating a root node and then uh, we have to process the word A for Apple for insert operation. So we create a new try node for A And then now, uh, now that we created for A, next item is to create the same for P. So let's copy for that. And we create for P. Similarly, we have to create for another P. So now we have to process the letter L. So the same for L as well. So now uh, the uh, lost character left is E. So for E also we have to create a new try node. And here since it's end of the word, we have to make sure that we mark that. Uh, so let's mark it as the end of Apple. So now we have uh, done the dry run for the uh, insert operation for Apple. So let's look into the search for the Apple. So we start from the root node and uh, we process A. So we check for A. If A exists, we move to the next. So here A exists, right? So we move to the next character, which is P. And similarly, another P exists, uh, same for L and E. So, and we check if it is end of the uh, word is mocked. So here end of Apple is mocked. So we detend to because the word Apple exists. So next is uh, we search for the starts with for app. So this is just like we check for if the existence of app without uh, checking for the end of the word app because we don't we don't require the word app here but we need to check if the prefix exists. Since the prefix exists, we return true. Code explanation. So here we have the try node class which represents the each node in the try with the dictionary for the child nodes and a boolean to mock the end of the word. So, and in the try class, we have the method init, which initializes the try with an empty root node and the method insert, uh, which iterates to the each character of the word, creating a new try node as necessary and mocks the end of the word. So here, how are we doing that? Uh, we just iterating for the each character in the word, and then we're checking if the character is not existing in the child, node children. Uh, so, uh, we create a entry for the character, uh, and initialize a new try node, and then we move to the child node for the character using the node children of car. All the characters are processed. This uh, see that this is out of the for loop. We mark that it is the end of the word. So we mark is end of the word is question true. So next is the search operation. So we traverse to the try to check if the word exists, returning true only if the final load marks the end of the word. So here we're trying for the each character in the word. So if character not in the node or children, we return false right away. If it exists in the node or children, move to the child node for the current character. And then uh, we repeat this for each character in the word. At, at the end, we return node is end of the word. So we're doing this because we have it false by default. So if it is marked as true, then it means that the word exists. So that's why we return the node dot is end of the word. Next, it starts with. So this is similar to search, but only checks for uh, if the prefix exists in the tray. So that means that we don't have the node dot is end of the word at the end. So we just return true if all characters exist.
so uh, similarly here we just uh, iterating for all the characters in the prefix so if character not in the node children we return false if it exists we move to the children of the current node um, so we repeat this for all the characters at the end we return true if so complexity analysis so here the time complexity for insert operation is o of m where m is the length of the word being inserted for search operation it's o of m where m is the length of the word being searched so for the short with operation it's o of m where m is the length of the prefix so for the space complexity is o of n into m where n is the number of words and m is the average length of the words so each node may have up to 26 children for each set of the english alphabet so these operations are efficient making trice a valuable tool in scenarios requiring fast lookups and insertion of string keys so demo conclusion so i've got the code ready here let's start submitting this so yeah it's a solution and almost with 76% of the users with python conclusion price the powerful data structures that provide efficient operation for the string storage and retrieval they are particularly useful in applications like auto complete spell checking and implementing dictionary ways by understanding and implementing price you can enhance your coding skills and tackle a wide range of problems related to the string manipulation and search optimization Thank you for tuning in to the episode of Hacker.